Hot Mug Challenge. Do you like our new drinks container? According to the instructions, it'll keep drinks hot for hours and hours. We thought we'd compare it with others. So we have a paper cup, a paper cup with a lid, and a mug. We boil some water and, to make it a fair test, measure the same amount of water, 100 millilitres, into each container. Warning! Boiling water can burn, so we're being very careful when pouring. We love this thermometer. It's great because it doesn't touch what it's measuring. A type of camera senses how much infrared radiation glows from the object and converts that to a temperature reading. We could use a liquid in glass type thermometer, but it would need extra special care handling the glass, plus it would take time to take the readings. First, we measure the temperature of the room we're in, and write that down. We're using a fab results table we printed from the NPL website. Then we measure the water temperature in each container about once a minute. For each container, we write down the time when the water temperature reaches 60 degrees Celsius. We'll just show the mug result here for clarity. We have to remember to replace the lid after each measurement. Next, we note when the water reaches 50 degrees Celsius and then 40 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature reaches 40 degrees Celsius, we record room temperature again. Lids make a big difference. How much? You'll just have to do the experiment yourself, or read the report on the NPL website. What is happening? Heat flows from hot spaces to cold spaces, and the speed of this flow depends on any barrier between the two spaces, and the difference in temperature. Here, as it gets cooler, water temperature changes slow down. By the way, it's similar with buildings. The material the walls and lid, I mean roof, are made of, affects the speed of heat loss. So, by turning the temperature control to a lower setting, you'll lose less energy in heating and you will have a slower heat loss to the outside. And less heat used and less heat loss means less greenhouse gases produced. So turn that temperature controller down right now! And our super drinks container? 30 minutes later and the water is still only 2 degrees Celsius cooler. Gosh, we only got a couple of results and we'd love more, so please do this experiment at home and share your results with us using the MPL webpage. But can you trust thermometer readings? Yes, thanks to Jamie and NPL's thermal imaging metrology team who make sure that thermometers give correct values and help people measure the temperature of objects reliably. And our super drinks container? An hour later? Thanks for watching! And our super drinks container an hour and a half later.